Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I'm Ashim Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the concept of time value of money. In this video, I'm going to start the problems on time value of money. Very frequently in examination, they will ask the problems also on time value of money for MBA students. So you should give more concentration on also on the problems. So if you're not perfect, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject in financial management new, select the video of time value of money, be perfect about the concept. The value of money will change from time to time. The purchasing power of money will not be same always. And this fact must be considered by the finance manager while taking all business decisions, all financial decisions like investment decisions, financing decisions, dividend decision, working capital decision, all these decisions, the finance manager must consider the time value of money. Now, before starting the problems, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain. See the first problem. Calculate the value of five years hence a deposit of 1000 made today if the interest rate is. So in time value of money we have two concepts, two techniques called compounding technique and uh, discounting technique. Compounding technique means we are going to find out what would be the future value for a particular present value. Presently he is depositing 1000 rupees. So after five years, what will be the value of this 1000 rupees after five years at a discount at the interest rate of 8%, 10%, 12% and 15%. So four different bits are there. If the rate of uh, interest is 8%, what would be the value of this 1000 rupees after five years? Similarly, if the interest rate is 10%, what would be the value after five years? This is called compounding problem, finding out a future value for a given present value. So carefully, you see, already formula I have explained you in the theory video. Again, I'm writing the formula how to find out the compound value. Now deposit made today is 1000 and the value after five years, we have to find out. The formula for calculating the compound value after five years when the rate of interest is 8%, 10%, 12%, and 15%. The formula is Vn is equal to Po into 1 plus R to the power of N. Where Vo, Vn stands for compound value after five years. That Vn we have to find out. And Po is the present value of deposit. How much is depositing right now? 1000. Years, number of years, five years. And the rate of interest R is 8%, 10%, 12%, 15%. One by one we take. If the rate of interest is 8%, so R is equal to 8%. 8% means 0 0.08. So we substitute. V is equal to, in place of PO, 1000. 1 plus R, R is 0 0.08, 8% to the power of 5. N is 5 years. So 1000 uh, 1, into 1.08 to the power of 5. So 1000 into 1.08 to the power of 5. You will get 1.4693. You can make the use of calculator or you can use the compound value table. So two com uh, compound value and present value table values are there. You can carry the table value in your examination also. So I have given this table value in the description. A PDF is given for this one. You can take a printout and keep it with yourself. Without this uh, I mean table value, it will be difficult to make all calculations on the calculator. So 5%, uh, 8%, 8% for 5 years compound value. Here the table is the compound value, the compound sum of 1 rupee. So for 8%, 8% uh, the value is 
here it is given 1.469 so you can take it from here in the table or you can calculate on the calculator 1.08 to the power of 5 5 times so what you will get 1000 into 1 1.4693 1469.32 that means if you deposit 1000 rupees right now after 5 years you will get 1469.32 at a compound rate of interest of 5 8% similarly the rate of interest is 10% so R is equal to 10%, same formula, Vn is equal to 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.10. 10% means 10 by 100, you will get 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.10. So 1 plus 0 0.10 is 1 1.10 to the power of 5. Again, multiply 5 times 1 1.10 or you can refer the compound value table. In the compound value table, 10% for 5 years, 1.611. In the table you can find 1.611 so here 1.611 1611 is the compound value after five years at 10 percent at 12 percent the r is 0 0.12 to the power of 5 1.12 to the power of 5 the 12 percent for five years here in compound value table you can see 1.762 multiply with 1000 1762 Similarly, if the rate of interest is 15%, R is equal to 0 0.15. So 1.15 to the power of 5. So 12%, you can see 12% in the table, 1.762. 1 point, oh sorry, it is 15%. For 15%, 2.011. So 2.011, 2011. So you can make use this compound value table and present value table. Both the tables I have given a PDF in the description. Along with the problems, you can find the table values also. Always keep it ready. Second problem. Problem number two. Find the present value. Previous problem was future value. That's why we have used compounding technique. Now it is asking you present value. So we use discounting technique. So find the present value of 10,000 receivable after 5 years. Receivable after 8 years. If the rate of discount is 10%, 12%, 15%. Discounting 3 rates are given. It is opposite to compound value. The present value is opposite to compound value. So a person present value how much? If an amount of 10,000 rupees is receivable after 8 years when the discount rate is 10 12 or 15 percent the formula for pv pv stands for present value is equal to vn how much amount we want after 8 years after 8 years we want 10,000 so vn is 10,000 1 plus r r is the discounting rate the so discounting rate 10 12 or 15 percent now we substitute case 1 when the rate of interest is 10 percent simply substitute 10 percent means 0 0.10 so vn 10,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10 to the power of 8 0 0.10 to the power of 8 so 1.10 to the power of 8 so 10,000 divided by 1.10 to the power of 8 multiply 8 times so if you use calculator it will take much time so alternative is use the pv tables Two tables are there, compound value table and present value table. See the present value table, what is the value at 10% for 8 years. So here, uh, 10,000 rupees into PV factor at 10% for 8 years. This is the present value table. In present value table, 10% for 8 years, for 8 years, it comes to 0 0.467. 0 0.467. PV factor 10% 8 years, 0.467. So 10,000 into 0.467, it is 4,670. Or even you can use the calculator for P, taking the PV values. On the calculator, you can use simple calculator we need to calculate the PV factors. 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 1.10. Now simply if you right if you uh, i mean press is equal to is equal to you will get first year second year third year so first year two uh, first year one one then two three
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 0. 0.467. 8 times we have pressed is equal to, is equal to, is equal to, is equal to, we got 0.4665. So we can round it off to 0.467. This is the present value factor. So 10,000 into 0 0.467, 4,670. Therefore, the PV of 10,000 rupees receivable after 8 years at 10% discount rate is 4,670. 10,000 you are going to receive after 8 years. The present value of that 10,000 is 4,670. Same is the case in case 2 when the rate of interest is 12%. Previously we have taken 10%. Now 0 0.12. So 10,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of 8. So 1.12 to the power of 8. So instead of calculating 8 times we can make use PV factor. So PV of PV factor for 12% 8 years. If you refer the table, 12% 8 years PV factor. 12% 8 years PV factor is 0 0.45, 0 0.404. 8 years it is 0.404. So take 0 0.404 for 4040. So if the rate of interest is 12%, the present value of 10,000 receivable after 8 years is 4040. If the rate of interest is, if the rate of discount is 15%, 0 0.15, so 1.15 to the power of 8 or 15% for 8 years. So again, if you refer the PV table, 15% for 8 years, it is uh, uh, 3.327, 0.327. 0.327 into 10,000, 3,270. That is the present value of 10,000 receivable after 8 years. So these PV factors again, you can calculate with the help of calculator also. It is 15%. So 1 divided by 1.15. So 1 divided by 1.15. Now just press is equal to, is equal to, is equal to 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 0 0.3269. 0 0.3269. So we are rounding off to 0 0.327. That's it. So two problems I have explained. Now problem number three. Third problem. Mr. Anand has to receive 5,000 rupees per year for five years. That means every year 5,000 5, he is going to receive. It is called annuity. Annuity means for the same amount is being received at diff a different point of time. First year end 5,000, second year end 5,000, third year end 5,000, fourth year end 5,000, fifth year end also 5, 5 years. Calculate the present value of the annuity, assuming that he can earn an interest rate of 12% on his investment. So we have to find out what is the present value of annuity of this 5000 rupees which is receivable every year for 5 years at the discount rate of 12% now see carefully Mr. Anand he has to receive 5000 rupees per year every year for 5 years present value we have to find out what is the present value of annuity of all these future cash inflows if the discounting rate is 12% the PV of annuity for 5 years can be calculated by using this formula V divided by 1 plus R to the power of 1. V stands for how many, how much amount we are receiving every year. Every year 5000. So numerator will take 5000. Denominator 1 plus R. What is the discounting rate? 12%. 0 0.12. 0 0.12 to the power of 1. Similarly here 5000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of 2. Plus V divided by. V means 5000. 5, 5000 divided by 1 plus 0.12 to the power of 3, to the power of 4, to the power of 5, to the power of 5, 5 years. So I am substituting the values now. In place of V5000, 1 plus R 0.12, to the power of 1, to the power of 2, to the power of 3, to the power of 4, to the power of 5. So it will become 5000 divided by 1.12 to the power of 1. 5000 divided by 1.12 to the power of 2, 1.12 to the power of 3, 4 and 5. This is a lengthy method of calculating the present value. 
there's an alternative method also i'll show you i'll explain it now alternatively 5000 into this is the pv factor at 12 percent for first year this is first year pv factor at 12 percent for first year this is the pv factor at 12 percent for second year pv factor for 12 percent for third year fourth year fifth year so alternatively 5000 into pv factor 12 percent one year plus 5000 pv factor 12 percent two years three years four year and fifth year now if you refer the table 12 percent pv factors this is the pv factor table in this 12 percent 12 percent for first year 0 0.893 so here you can see 0 0.893 0 0.7 7 uh, here fifth which is for 12 percent 797 712 636 and 567 here 567 multiply you will get 18,025 now you can see here 5000 into 0.893 you will get 4465 plus 5000 into 0.797 you will get 3985 like that you multiply all the factors we'll get this value so ultimately 18,025 is the present value of 5,000 which is receivable every year at the end of first year, second year, third year, fourth year and fifth year. Alternatively, instead of calculating like this, very simple method is to find out the present value is making this table. In this table, first column, year column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, second column, amount, 5,000 rupees every year, third column, PV factors at 12%. So on hand, you can calculate 12% PV factors even by referring the table value or on the calculator. 1 divided by 1.12. 1 divided by 1.12. Just is equal to, is equal to, is equal to. First time, if you press is equal to, you'll get first year. Second time, if you press, you'll get point second year. Till third year, fourth year, fifth year. Now multiply 5000 into these values, you'll get PV of annuity. Then total is 18,025. Same value we got here also 18,025, here also 18,025. Therefore, present value of annuity of 5,000 receivable every year for 5 years at a discount rate of 12% is 18,025. One more alternative method is there. If the annual amount is constant, if the annual amount is constant, then we can find out PV factor annual cash inflow into constant cash inflow PV of annuity 12% for 5 years. If you refer the PV of annuity table, two tables are there. If you refer the PV of annuity table for 12% for 5 years, you will get 3.605. So if you add up all the PV factors, 3.605. Even if table annuity table 12%, you get 3.605. Only once you multiply, you will get 18,025. That's it. So three problems i have explained you in this video so if you want the perfect knowledge watch the video twice thrice definitely you will get a good command on this topic of problems on time value of money inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video